Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Junindupedia and today I'm going to tell you how to register your DSC in your e-office. So without wasting time, let's get started. First, we have to download Java 8 or above and the second is DSC signer service and the DSC software. So first I'll tell you how to download Java 8 or DSC signer service. First, you have to open any browser. I am using Chrome. And in the search bar, you have to type java.com. And click enter. And then, in the Java website, you can see the download Java. You have to click on the download Java. And if you scroll down, then there will be another download Java. You have to click on it. And then your Java will start to download. Yes. Now my Java is also downloaded. Now open your file explorer. And in here, double click on downloads. And here you can see that Java is downloaded here. I will copy it and paste it on desktop. I will paste it here. So first we will install Java. So you have to double click on the Java setup. And then click on run. Yes. Now my Java setup is started. Then you have to click on install. And it will start installing. Now my Java has successfully installed. Now we have to click on close. And then here in the search bar, you have to search Java. And then you will find the configure Java. You can type configure Java also. And you have to open it. And in the top menu, you can see general update Java security and advance. You have to click on update. And then you have to uncheck the check for updates automatically and then click on do not check and apply if it's checked then it will notify you again and again if there is a new update available so you have to click on ok now I am going to tell you how to install the DSC signer service for that first you have to open your browser and in the search bar you have to type eOffice dot gov dot in and hit enter the eOffice website will open and then in in this top menu you have to hover on the downloads and then in this in this list you have to check the digital signal service that's it in the bottom third list the digital signal service you have to click on it and then this page will open in here you have to download the 4.16 version not the 6.13 because in many devices the 6.13 version does not support so that's why you have to download the 4.16 version for that you have to check if your system is 32 bit or 64 bit for checking that you have to go to your desktop and right click on this PC and click on properties and then this settings will open in here you have to check the system type this system type it's 64 bit in my case if in your if your system is 32 bit then you have to download 32 bit so it's 64 bit so i have downloaded 64 bit when you click on it then the dsc signer service will start to download as you can see it has started downloading and now my dsc signer service has been downloaded now open your file explorer again and double click on downloads and here you can see the DSC signer service is downloaded here I'll copy it and paste it on desktop I will paste it here it is a zip file so I'll tell you how to extract it so you have to right click on it 
and then here you have to select the extract all so you have to click on it and then click on extract then it will extract and open the folder I'll show you that here the folder is been extracted so you have to double click and open it and then in the first one there is digital signer service 4.16 you have to open this folder so now I will install digital signer service in the second one you can see the setup file is here you have to double click it and then click on run and now the setup wizard will open you have to click on next and here you have to select the I accept the terms and again click on next and again click on next here in this do you want to install SSL certificate you have to click on yes or it won't install and then click on install and, and then click on yes and we'll start installing and it has been successfully installed now I have to uncheck the view readme file now click on finish now a message like DSC signer service has started successfully will come as you can see and in the desktop also this icon is here the digital signer service 4.16 now open your DSC signer service folder and here open the first folder digital signer service and here click on the file check system details and here it's checking subsystem information like the OS name Microsoft Windows home single language is in my laptop and the second is checking for version running in system the Java version and you can see the Java version it's the 8 version and the third one is checking for port 55101 below that you can see DSC signer service is running on port 55101 which means it's running successfully on port 55101 as we have checked now press any key now we have to check whether the DSC signer is working on the browser also for that you have to open any browser Chrome or Firefox and then in the search bar you have to type https colon slash slash and e of signer dot e office dot gov dot in colon five five one zero one slash check slash is life the L should be capital of is life and hit enter and now it's showing success which means that it is successfully running for our browser also now I'm going to install the DSC software for that first insert the DSC token and now double click on this PC and then right click on this drive hyper PKI and click on open and here the third file which is the setup file epa 2003 software you have to double click on it and then click on yes and click on ok and next again click on next and make sure that it's selected private CSP and click on install and it is successfully installed now click on finish now as you can see in the bottom list this icon is here you have to click on it this blue color and the epass software will open and you have to click on login and then enter the password of the DSC and then click on OK and it will show the details of the user which means that the DSC is installed successfully now you can close it now I will show you the settings for your browsers first I am showing for Chrome for it in the top right there are three dots you have to click on it and then here also the bottom third option the settings you have to click on it and in the left menu you have to click on privacy and security 
and you have to scroll a bit down and click on security and you have to scroll down and click on manage certificates and as you can see the username and details are shown here now it is successfully set up for chrome now click on close now i am going to register dsc token in my eoffice account for that first you have to open your browser and search sxs.nic.in and hit enter in here you have to type your eoffice email id and password and click on sign in and here you have to click on get otp it will send a otp to your registered mobile number and you have to type your otp in this enter otp and type your otp here and click on sign in and then click on e office here you have to type your e office email id without domain name and then type your password and click on login and now click on file management system and on the left menu you have to click on dsc and click on dsc registration and on this top right side there is register dsc you have to click on it and here you have to click on register and it will show that the certificate has been registered successfully but i have already registered my dsc so it is showing the certificate has already been registered so then click on ok and on the left menu you have to click on settings and then preferences in here make sure that the alert setting is set to sms and the dsc setting is set to signing and then scroll down and click on save and then scroll up and you can see that preferences saved successfully so your dsc setting is complete if you like my video then please like so let's meet in our next video thanks for watching